Grace and peace to you from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ as you watch this video and listen to his words, in Jesus' name we pray Amen. Before we begin please click the subscribe button below, thank you. Genesis chapter 43 The Second Journey to Egypt Verse 1 Now the famine was still severe in the land. Verse 2 So when they had eaten all the grain they had brought from Egypt, their father said to them, Go back and buy us a little more food. Verse 3 But Judah said to him, The man warned us solemnly, You will not see my face again unless your brother is with you. Verse 4 If you will send our brother along with us, we will go down and buy food for you. Verse 5 But if you will not send him, we will not go down, because the man said to us, You will not see my face again unless your brother is with you. Verse 6 Israel asked, Why did you bring this trouble on me by telling the man you had another brother? Verse 7 They replied, The man questioned us closely about ourselves and our family. Is your father still living? He asked us. Do you have another brother? We simply answered his questions. How were we to know he would say, Bring your brother down here? Verse 8 Then Judah said to Israel his father, Send the boy along with me and we will go at once, so that we and you and our children may live and not die. Verse 9 I myself will guarantee his safety, you can hold me personally responsible for him. If I do not bring him back to you and set him here before you, I will bear the blame before you all my life. Verse 10 As it is, if we had not delayed, we could have gone and returned twice. Verse 11 Then their father Israel said to them, If it must be, then do this, put some of the best products of the land in your bags and take them down to the man as a gift, a little balm and a little honey, some spices and myrrh, some pistachio nuts and almonds. Verse 12 Take double the amount of silver with you, for you must return the silver that was put back into the mouths of your sacks. Perhaps it was a mistake. Verse 13 Take your brother also and go back to the man at once. Verse 14 And may God Almighty grant you mercy before the man so that he will let your other brother and Benjamin come back with you. As for me, if I am bereaved, I am bereaved. Verse 15 So the men took the gifts and doubled the amount of silver, and Benjamin also. They hurried down to Egypt and presented themselves to Joseph. Verse 16 When Joseph saw Benjamin with them, he said to the steward of his house, Take these men to my house, slaughter an animal and prepare a meal, they are to eat with me at noon. Verse 17 The man did as Joseph told him and took the men to Joseph's house. Verse 18 Now the men were frightened when they were taken to his house. They thought, we were brought here because of the silver that was put back into our sacks the first time. He wants to attack us and overpower us and seize us as slaves and take our donkeys. Verse 19 So they went up to Joseph's steward and spoke to him at the entrance to the house. Verse 20, We beg your pardon, our Lord, they said, we came down here the first time to buy food. Verse 21, But at the place where we stopped for the night we opened our sacks and each of us found his silver, the exact weight, in the mouth of his sack. So we have brought it back with us. Verse 22, We have also brought additional silver with us to buy food. We don't know who put our silver in our sacks. Verse 23, It's all right, he said. Don't be afraid. Your God, the God of your father, has given you treasure in your sacks, I received your silver. Then he brought Simeon out to them. Verse 24, The steward took the men into Joseph's house, gave them water to wash their feet and provided fodder for their donkeys. Verse 25 They prepared their gifts for Joseph's arrival at noon, because they had heard that they were to eat there. Verse 26 When Joseph came home, they presented to him the gifts they had brought into the house, and they bowed down before him to the ground. Verse 27 He asked them how they were, and then he said, How is your aged father you told me about? Is he still living? Verse 28 They replied, Your servant our father is still alive and well. And they bowed down, prostrating themselves before him. 
Verse 29 As he looked about and saw his brother Benjamin, his own mother's son, he asked, Is this your youngest brother, the one you told me about? And he said, God be gracious to you, my son. Verse 30 Deeply moved at the sight of his brother, Joseph hurried out and looked for a place to weep. He went into his private room and wept there. Verse 31 After he had washed his face, he came out and, controlling himself, said, Serve the food. Verse 32 They served him by himself, the brothers by themselves, and the Egyptians who ate with him by themselves, because Egyptians could not eat with Hebrews, for that is detestable to Egyptians. Verse 33 The men had been seated before him in the order of their ages, from the firstborn to the youngest, and they looked at each other in astonishment. Verse 34 When portions were served to them from Joseph's table, Benjamin's portion was five times as much as anyone else's. So they feasted and drank freely with him. Please wait if you have not subscribed to this channel. Please click the red subscribe button below. Thank you see you again in chapter 44. God bless you.